everyone. Let me just do a bit of mic adjusting. Okay. I think that should be good. So we should have the chat up. Um, let's get input ready. So we're a minute out. Um, I'll take a, just a moment to uh, mention a few things. First of all, uh, I continue to write every day about the problem. So yesterday I, I wrote fairly extensively, actually. This is one of the longer posts for a, a given day. Um, and I went over sort of my uh, thinking um, on, on the recursive part for part two as well as the alternative approach that I think is probably faster to think about and easier to deal with, um, which is down here. I also talked about, you know, other pitfalls that, that I had. Okay, so we're just a couple seconds out and let's get ready. Hoping for a better day today. Day 15. Okay, this looks like a, some sort of grid of numbers again. Can it move to diagonally? Lowest risk is 40. Oh, and we need some weight, which is just the lowest total risk.
So I think we can just put that on here. Um, Oh. <clears throat> That's impressive. Five times larger and <clears throat> five by five square, right and down are one higher. I'm actually really surprised that Dijkstra's worked that well. So now we just have to do
That seems wrong. Because it is wrong. Oh wait, for this one it should be 50, but okay, so let's just concentrate. So if we go through the grid again, find the adjacencies. We should probably just do it based on this one. So go from len lines times five plus r, no times shift r. Then lines zero times shift C times plus C. CI this R one C one. No, that's not quite right. Let's see here. I would like it to be based on here. So start equals len lines times shift right. Shift C then this can still just be RC. And then this can be RC. Shoot, comment that out, wait, no. Comment all of that out. Zero to lens and lines minus five. of row zero, column len lines zero. Two, so at, so zero nine is two. Eleven, one ten is two. So Dijkstra's isn't quite working here. Oh oh oh! I need to do at the edges. Or wait, no, it already is. So let's just check this one.
So that should be this two. Uh, cartoon is killing me again. Three, six, nine, ten, four. Three. Why is this only a four? Immediately up or to the left. So this is 10, 20, so yeah. One plus two plus one. Two, two. So there. So this is what twenty. Twenty and ten, one and two, so I'm confused. Four, four, four. Or twenty one ten. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting this is. It's just one plus one plus so it's it's one down, 
one across, which means it should be a two. Which means it should be a three. That one should be a four. So I should just look up, screw it. How many times right you shift? Line you're on, so two. So it'll iterate across this one, zero, one, two, three, four. Then it'll go here, then it'll be. Let's just check that square. 10, zero. Two. 10, 10 is three. Three, six, nine, 10. So, and this is 10, right? So that's correct. Row 20 would be like down here. And that's four though. Oh, but it's it's this one. Okay, does this just not, does the algorithm just not work? Was I just lucky that it worked before? This is embarrassing. Oh, that seems bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Forgot the wraparound. I am so, so bad at this. Oh wait. Hold on, what does it say?
Oh shoot. Um Bottom right should be a nine. Okay, this is really, really close. No diff. This sucks. Maybe, why is this not the correct answer? Kelly leaderboard? Where was he? Yeah, he did. So did Ryan. Man, we had a lot of leaderboarders. Oh wait, no, this is this is not the right day. He might have with that time. Yep. Nice. Well, I'm, hmm. Hmm, hmm. So the test is, you know, good. 
10, 10. So the question is, my grid is all correct. So int char plus the shift to the right. I don't understand what's wrong. I'm going to be really pissed when I find out the problem here because it's clearly like really, really close. Okay, this is infuriating. Why isn't this working? <laughs> Wait a second. Am I off by nine? Where does the path go through? Am I gonna have to, I'm gonna have to backtrack this. Does this, what does this do? It just gives the cost, right? I'm sure the best way to do this is probably not Dijkstra's. Like a BFS will do here, but I'm already so close. Wait, is this one eight? So if it is greater than nine, then we reset back to one plus x minus 10. So the cost to go from the top left to anywhere 
is one. Then from there is one. So I'm basically my cost go to nine. Should I just like add? I, I was worried about the last cost. Like seven to nine, like do I need to just add like Like, no, because it's it's one off still. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, is this a decent assumption that seven, that we can just model the edges out from each element as like zero, one to one, one to one, one to one to three, this is gonna be four. So, you know, um, I, th I think that's accurate. Let's just, all right, we're gonna have to modify this to do backtracking. Oh dear. Mm, let's remember how to do that. Uh, <laughs> Distance to the element is the cost. P. Let's just put P out here. Now we're going to have to put it in here.
Oh, this one is correct. It's just if x equals zero and y equals zero, return empty list. I don't even know if that worked. Okay, well, th that is not the correct path. Why'd it go that way? What the heck? Okay, let's go back to printing some grid co coordinates. Specifically, uh, column 10, row 0. Nine, ten, so ten column uh, row ten column one has cost two. Row eleven column zero has cost two. Has cost nine. I have the map right. Does Dijkstra's just not work?
actually. Where'd it go? Why is this failing? Well, let's just check here. It's so annoying. G of two at zero. Should give me two? To get to three zero. What about like 10, five or five, 10? One, two, three, four, five. There's zero, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, eight, nine, ten. 10. I think that's that seven, right?
No, it's that seven. Okay. But it still should be so five ten. No, oh, that might be the problem. Oh no. We're fine. So, uh, nine should give me seven. Five ten is in that set. Hmm, hmm, interesting. This is. Chat, any ideas? I, I have no idea what's wrong. I've compared the grids. You know what, the other thing I can do here So I guess I should go from here. So why is seven wrong? Because that's where when things kind of go off the rails, right? Hey Joshua, I actually leaderboarded on part one, but I'm still on part two. I I used Dijkstra's for part one, and I think that my implementation, I mean, it was it was correct for part one, but for some reason I have no idea what's wrong. But like, I I'm pretty sure I did the tiling right. I've compared the grids, but I can't like I'm getting the wrong path. I've even resorted to actually doing full backtracing. <laughs> um. And what I don't understand is, I guess I need to figure out this one. So this one's, um, oh dear. Oh, that's a good point. Maybe I can just do that. Well, that's a that's an interesting question. Let's try that now that you mention it. Uh, 
right, get rid of this. Okay, it's it's really slow, but do we print out the grid? Am I printing out the grid? Yeah. I think this is what I submitted already. Um, this is going to be a lot of scrolling, but I think that's an interesting I enough idea that it's worth this scroll. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is what I just submitted. Yeah. Oh wait, no. So in, that's interesting. It, it should be 500 by 500, right? Like that's, I'm not crazy. Why is it 508? What's the length of the lines? Oh. Oh, holy crap. Thanks for the tip off. What is the extra line doing? Or missing line, okay, wait. Okay, my grid's not the incorrect size, okay. Oh wait, no.
Yeah, still not the same, still not the incorrect size. So that's not wonky. Okay, I'm gonna go back to debugging Dijkstra's and yeah, because D So this is our BSP, and then this D is that thingy, and then now we can just do some print B of zero, one, two, three. Well, okay, so really what we need is D of Forty nine throw forty ninth call. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my gosh. So going from here, and then we get to there, the cost goes from 300 to 307. No, that's correct. From there to, okay. the distance to this guy's
Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Twenty nine. One plus one plus two plus three plus seven plus. 7 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, 26. Oh, that's wrong. Okay. I'm seeing something suspicious. I'm... I'm, what, I'm guessing that the way that I'm constructing this grid is just bad. So I'm going to change this. So initially I had thought about like, I need to like do in between, like at the, at the corners and then go like make the edges have weights like through. So let me just, do a bit more experimenting to check this for I in range 13 print G of row I column zero. Whoops, meant to do it down here. Zero. Then it's one. So zero, the cost to get to, to use this square is zero. The cost to use this square is one. The cost to use this one is two. Oh, whoops. Two, four, seven, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26. Well, that is correct.
0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, because it goes up to 12. Okay. So, then let's just calculate this cost. Twenty six, twenty Hmm. Yeah, so I pasted the expanded grid into part one. Let me try pasting this expanded grid into part one. Yeah, I'm getting the wrong answer still. And like, it's not this plus nine, because that's like, it's still off by one. What did I change? <laughs> oh.
Okay. New plan. Actually, we're going to get rid of all that. We're going to use this corner is 0, 0, and that corner is 0 or 1, 1. I think this stuff still is applicable. Zero, zero to zero, one, basically this is going to end up being the same graph. Thanks, Joshua.
Bams don't really matter.
Okay. I have no idea what to debug. So, where am I? I've created a graph, it produces a thing, it produces the right thing, Um well this is this is um this sucks and I don't know what to do I guess let me trace let's do this Zero, zero, cost zero, one, two, should have cost four. Let's see here. Let's just take a screenshot of that. Save it. Hey, Epsilon. Nice job today. Um, I'm currently debugging. Um, I'm on part two. Luckily, but I'm still hardcore struggling. Okay, so I'm tr currently trying to verify. So my path finding algorithm is just wrong, straight up wrong. It's going the wrong way. Um, I'm on part two, so yeah. So zero two one. Well, you solved part two, which is better than I've done so far. So one. 
Okay, so we get here with cost five. We get here with cost eight. We get there with cost eight plus six, which is 14. 19, 20, 21, 22, 27, 28, 29, 30, 37, 39, 43, 45, 46, 47, 48, 40. Did I mess something up? Oh, shoot. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ugh. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, so the way I did it, the way I did part one was that I, uh, I used Dijkstra's. just uh, and I modeled each I basically modeled it as like a pathfinding algorithm from the top top left to the top bottom right but I don't really know how why it's not working for the expanded grid and I think it's probably Like I've checked that this grid is correct. Like I've defted against this guy and it, it and it's correct, but my pathfinding is just wrong. One, two, oh shoot, two. To get to there, be four. To get to Five, eight, fourteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. 30, 37, 39. This one should be 43, 45, 46, 47, 48. 50, 3 is 53, 58, 61, 63, 64, 66, 69, 73, 75, <clears throat> 78, 81, 83, 84, 90, 91, 95, 99, 103, 104, 
or six, one eleven, one fifteen, seventeen, one twenty four, one twenty nine. One thirty one, one thirty two, one thirty four, one forty, one forty one, one forty five, A is one fifty three, one fifty five, one sixty, one sixty. One sixty eight, sixty nine, one seventy four. Hmm, no idea. Hello, chat. Um, all all the debugging. Yeah. There's got to be something in here that I'm like, it's just not. One, one eighty four. Okay. Plus six, plus two, plus one, plus one, plus four, plus one. Thirty two six. Wait, did that? Did I just find it? Thirty three forty one, thirty three thirty four. Wait, no, thirty three forty, thirty three forty one, thirty. Four forty one. We added four. Thirty five forty one. We added one. Wait, what? Wait, to get from thirty three forty one. Thirty-one, three, forty. Oh, and then to here, that was plus one. So that's this diff here. Then we added four to get to here. Then we added two to get to here. Then we added one. So now we expect another one. Then we expect to go right for three, another three, down for another three, another one, another eight, one, two, two, three, seventy two, seventy seven, 
nine, eighty five, one ninety four, one ninety six, one ninety seven, one two or two. I keep saying one, it's it's twos. Um Uh, 197, 199, 300, and 7, and 9. That is clearly not the best route. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like the example doesn't work. So like I um Yeah, I'm counting step 1. Step 1 is included. So the, the way I've modeled it is like the the dots the points in my graph are like the I conceptualize it as like the top left corner of a square. So like here, or maybe the example is a better one. It's, it's really like zero, zero is there and one zero or one, one is here. So like to get from zero, zero to, you know, zero, one is cost one or to get from zero, zero to one, zero is cost one. You're supposed to count the start. Oh, damn it. It works on this one because I think the start and end are the same, right? That's depressing. Thanks for the help, chat. <laughs> ah, go away. I didn't mean to launch that. Oh, that's so... Ah, I'm so pissed. <laughs>
Okay, that's so bad. Yeah, two bugs that were canceling each other out. Oh, that's so sad. That's so chat sad, chat. <laughs> Thank you for the help. <laughs> okay, we're gonna clean this up because this is, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> I'm really gonna go cry. That's so sad. I've been at. I leaderboarded on part one, guys. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, oh that's so depressing. Literally so depressing. Uh, somebody should, somebody should go clip me counting this manually. <sighs> I was getting the right answer. I was like, oh, it's off by one. That can't be right. Like it, it can't just be an off by one error. This must be a total pathfinding mistake. But apparently there are two paths through the grid that are actually the same cost. Let's go like, I, I, I'm i pretty sure. I mean, that sort of makes sense, right? Like that there might be two paths that are minimal. That seems to make sense. Yeah, I mean like, the sad part about this is like, I, I literally, okay. I solved part one in five minutes. I got, I actually leaderboarded, but then I literally spent this entire time debugging my incompetence. Yeah, I, I was just lucky because the example and my input have the same 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 thing oh wait that's not my input where is it this one one and one. Oh, this is so sad <laughs> i'm gonna go cry this is two hours of my life that i can't get back <laughs> ah! i probably got a leaderboard it on part two Uh, oh, <laughs> I almost don't want to clean this up. It's so depressing. Uh, okay. Um, Okay. Um, well, the, the 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 secret to my to my fast time for part one was that I already had Dijkstra's in my starter code, so that was nice. And if I hadn't, if I had just reread the problem, I probably would have would have at least done pretty well on part two. But that was a disaster, total unmitigated disaster. Oops, need, need K, don't think we need V. Don't need that, don't need all of this. Don't need all of this. I have a lot of starter code, as you can see. Oh, now Vim's frozen. What the? That never happens.
Oh, I deleted my grid adjacencies function. Okay, I, I should I should do it from the bottom up. Let's just go back down to part two and start deleting code because. Um, this is all debug code. Um, there's a better way of doing this, I think, which is. Scroll down. Uh, okay, I put it in. Good. Okay. And expected for part one is is three sixty three. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. This is so bad. Ah. Literally don't need any of that. Yeah, so it's a bit slow. Don't need any of that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Actually, do need this. Need that. Okay, uh, and then we'll switch this back to just returning an integer. Um, so I guess another way of doing this is to sort of reverse the, the graph a little bit. Well, like basically, because 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 the problem I have is that the I'm doing it based on this top corner rather than this corner. If I do it based on this second corner, then I think I avoid this annoying case. But 
but that, that sounds like too much work and I'm already too depressed. Yeah, I mean, I'm just subtracting off the first value. Can you actually set it to zero? I guess you can just say like art C, uh, equals C equals zero, something like that. Does that, yeah, so then we can just avoid that. Hello? Oh, it worked. Okay, cool. Yeah, see, because so what I did was kind of ugly, right? I, like I had to create an extra point that like the last last square went to, like way off out in the distance over here, which like works, but it's kind of dumb. Um, so, and I really should try and like consolidate this. Um, so that part one and part two are the same. What is this guy? Uh, what am I doing? That's not right. I need to take in like lines. Oh man, this is so sad. Literally so, so sad. How are you supposed to do this part though? I guess, like I said, like you're supposed to put the, think about it in terms of like lower right. Oh, this is too much work and I'm like already so annoyed. Okay, uh, we're just gonna leave it. <laughs> um, we're gonna actually just change it to do uh, um, this part, I guess. Um, if R C
Okay, so this is an actually correct solution to part one now. <laughs> Thank you all for the raid. I really appreciate it. Sorry for like not being very engaging today. This was just not a good problem for me. <laughs> it did not go well. <laughs> oh, oh, so depressing. Um, I get, I did get points, but I mean, so if we look at the the, the real points that matter though are on this leaderboard. This is this is me and my friends at Mines. Um, and the real issue here, oh, it's not too bad. I only lost like a point to Sam. I don't know how. This was pretty bad. Look at my delta time. Look at my delta time. That's atrocious. I spent an hour and 40... Effectively an hour and 40 minutes debugging that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a distant fourth at this point. So I'm, I'm, I'm out of the running for top three, unfortunately. Um, and then if you're interested, I, I do have a private leaderboard that you can join. Let me, I don't remember how to get to this. Let me paste this in chat. If you guys want to join and destroy me. Um, yeah, not so, not so great. Um, two people from mines though, leaderboarded Kelly also did t tonight. So that was really good. Um, on part one, at least. Okay. I, I really don't want to think about this too much longer. Um, Oh, I guess I can finish cleaning this up a little bit. Um, let's see here. We don't need any of the modified range functions, I don't think. We need the adjacencies, we need that. Okay, yeah, this is, I'm, I'm really, this was, this was quite, quite depressing. <laughs> I was so close. I was so close. So close. Yeah, A star would probably speed this up, eh? You know what else would speed up my solve times? Is reading the problem. See that this this is my problem with these with these <laughs> with stuff like this. It's like it, it's just reading comprehension. Okay, I, I I am going to try and clean this up. Yeah, it it was really it is really annoying that it started with and ended with the same number. I should tweet at Eric and just say. Hey, that's really annoying. <laughs> oh, wow, look at look up there. What happened? What is what was the ordering that I'm using? Local score. Did you like I guess I haven't recomputed. Clear charge cache. Nice. Uh I, I don't know how Twitch works, guys, but 
uh, if anybody here is like a streamer, go ahead and like send your send your um, Twitch channel to the chat. Interesting. Oh wait, that's not updated. Let's see here. So Larry's been doing well. Kind of fun to see other people. Um, I don't know what to say besides that's really sad. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not going to clean this up any more than it is. Um, before I go, though, I want to mention that I do a write up about every single day. I also post up my uh, VODs up to YouTube. So if you go to my website, I will link it in chat for those of you who are still here. Um, you can see my notes for every day. And, you know, um, yesterday was a bloodbath for me. I just couldn't figure out, like, part one was fine, but part two, I couldn't figure out the recursive formulation. So I, I wrote up some notes about it and kind of how I would not do it that way again. Um, uh, yeah, thank you for the suggestions for someone to raid. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back at it tomorrow. Um, and hopefully I will read the problem next time correctly. So have a good, have a good evening. Thank you all. Let's go raid over here. Raid now.